Taco Bell made a Crunchwrap with Doritos. It would probably be the best thing on their menu, so let's make it at home and even better. The full tutorial just went up on my YouTube and the link is in my bio. It would mean so much if you checked it out and I hope you enjoy. This pie roast is so tender and juicy but has a secret ingredient I know will have some of y'all bugging. My grand aunt gave me her sorority's cookbook and in it was a Coca-Cola pot roast, so I had to recreate my own version. I used only salt and pepper on the roast like the original recipe, but for the seasoning police, you can add as many different seasonings as you want. In a large pan, sear your roast on all sides, add some onions, celery, rosemary, thyme, and carrots. The full recipe can be found on my website, thereisfoodathome.com. Add two and a half cups of cola. It won't taste like cola, it just tenderizes the meat. Google it. For more flavor, add one packet of French onion soup and enough water to almost cover the pot roast. Bring to a boil, turn down the heat, and let simmer for two and a half hours. Add in some potatoes and let simmer for an additional 30 minutes. By now, it should be juicy and tender. I love making pot roasts because they're pretty easy and hands off. I told y'all there's food at home. So I decided to make the pasta, the Gigi Hadid one everyone's been talking about on TikTok. You're going to add some olive oil to a pan and put some onion in that, let that simmer. Then you're going to add in some garlic, let that simmer. A tablespoon of tomato paste, mix that up. You want to keep mixing. Half a cup of heavy cream. Keep mixing it up until it looks like that. Some salt, black pepper smoked paprika, chili flakes, a little more chili flakes, garlic powder, then a tablespoon of butter, parmesan cheese, mix it up with some pasta water, and it looks like that. Final product. bread here's everything you need to know separate your egg whites from the yolk and put it in a large bowl the common mistake i see everyone doing is not whisking your egg whites first before adding the other ingredients add 30 grams of sugar and 10 grams of cornstarch one teaspoon vanilla extract and some food coloring gently fold everything in before whisking with your spatula mold your cloud bread into the shape you like and there's nothing wrong with having a little fun with it bake at 300 degrees for 25 minutes it has the texture and taste of like cotton candy if you love tacos, you have to make this. I'm not even kidding. It's the best thing we've ever eaten in our lives. So you brown some beef in a pot. You add some beef stock, some bone broth, and some water to that. And then to that, you add a whole onion, a whole thing of garlic. You add some chili, some carrots, a bunch of bay leaves, and some thyme as well. And you let that cook for an hour until all the veggies are like all soft and mushy. And then you take all the veggies out and put them into a blender. And listen, the real Mexican recipe has a bunch of dried chilies as well. You can't get those in Australia, so I just added chili flakes. And then you add some tomatoes. You add some more bay leaves, some cumin powder some cloves and then you mix that all up and i also added some smoked paprika powder i don't know why i think i did for color who cares anyways and then you sift that sauce back into the pot to get out all the chunky bits and you let it cook in that for three hours and i also topped it up with water like every 40 minutes to keep it like wet <laughs> but look how nice it pulls apart after three hours and then you dip the tortilla in the sauce you put some meat on there you put some sauce and some cheese on there and also some onion and coriander you fold it up and oh my goodness you're welcome it's so good i love it Let's make Nutella hot chocolate.
Oh, baby. Combine about two cups of milk, a nice big spoonful of Nutella, a pinch of unsweetened cocoa powder, a pinch of sugar, a little salt, vanilla extract, and a splash of heavy cream. Stir this up over medium heat until well combined. Pour your hot chocolate into a blender, then blend at the highest speed. Coat the lid of your mug in Nutella. Pour in your hot chocolate. Add a homemade marshmallow and give it a quick torch. Then finish with some crushed candy cane. Hot chocolate just doesn't get better than this. Mmm. Let's make candied lemon slices. Make sure your lemons are well rinsed. I recommend using organic so there aren't as many chemicals in the peel. Cut really thin slices. For our simple syrup, combine equal parts sugar and equal parts water with a bit of yellow food coloring. When it boils, add your lemon slices. Simmer this for about 45 minutes. Let them dry on parchment paper. Looks like I forgot a seed in this one. Mm. When life gives you lemons, you make candy lemon slices. Mashed potatoes should not have lumps. These are the best. Another episode, back to basics. Three pounds, rusted potatoes, or you can use Yukon Golds. Wash them, don't be dirty. One inch dice. Fill with cold water to the cook evenly. Bring to a bubble over high heat. Toast your salt vigorously. Bubble, 10 to 12 minutes. Return to the pot. The heat of the pot will evaporate the excess moisture. Don't skip this step. If you do, they'll be watery. Let it set five minutes. Three quarter cup unsalted butter. Half a cup heavy cream. Melt the butter and warm the cream, medium low heat. Use a ricer or a food mill, no lumps. Add the butter and the cream. Truffle salt, because you're fancy. Truffle oil because you're extra fancy. Today we're making homemade birria quesa tacos. I've been seeing a very Americanized version all over the internet, so today I'll be showing you guys how to make it the authentic way. You need about six chile guajillos, three chile de arbol, and about five ancho chiles. You wanna add those to a big pot of water with five pounds of chuck roast. Everything that I have listed on the screen as well. You wanna skim the top of your broth, we want it very clean. Add a hefty pinch of salt, cover and let it cook for about one hour. After one hour, you want to take out your chiles and add them to a blender. You also want to add in some of your onions, garlic, and cinnamon stick, as well as a little bit of our beef broth. You also want to add in everything that I have displayed on the screen. You want to blend until very smooth for about one to two minutes. We're going to add that to our beef broth. Also adding in two boiled tomatoes that I pureed. You want to let that cook for another two hours. Take your meat out of your broth and strain your liquid. You want to take your corn tortillas and dip them to your strained broth. Into a hot pan with some butter and you want them to get nice and crispy. Add your Oaxaca cheese, your shredded beef, some onions, and cilantro. Dip them into your consomme with some onions and cilantro and you're done.